Hello everyone. Let's understand how to compare the fractions if it is given in this form. So first of all, we will solve the numbers which are given before the box. So for that, we have to change all the fractions which are given in terms of a mixed fraction into improper fraction. That means 4, 1 by 5 can be written as 5 into 4, which is equals to 20. 20 plus 1 is equals to 21 over 5. Similarly, 9, 1 by 5 can be written as 5 into 9, 45. 45 plus 1 is 46 over 5. Then 3, 1 by 5 can be written as 5 into 3, 15. 15 plus 1 is 16 over 5. So we'll write down here 21 over 5 plus 46 over 5 minus 16 over 5. So all the fractions have a same denominator. We write down 5 here. 21 plus 46 minus 16. So we have to write down the fractions which have a positive sign together and the one which is having a negative sign that has to be written at the end. So when you will solve it, you will get it equals to 67 minus 16 over 5, which is equals to 51 over 5. Now let's do the part which is given after the box. So 6, 1 over 4 can be written as 6 into 4, 24 plus 1 is 25 over 4. Then 8, 1 by 4 can be written as 4 times 8 is 32, 32 plus 1 is 33 over 4. Then 5, 1 by 4 can be written as 4 into 5 is 20. And 20 plus 1 is 21 over 4. So we will write down here in place of 6, 1 over 4, it is 25 over 4. Then the next one is 33 over 4. The next one is 21 over 4. Now we have to write the positive fractions together. And negative fraction we have to write at the end. Now, since the denominators are same, we write down the denominator only once. Then plus 21 minus 33. So we will get here 46 minus 33 over 4, which is equals to 13 over 4. Now we have to compare 51 over 5 with 13 over 4. So we have to cross multiply here. 51 into 4. Then there is a box 13 into 5. So here we will get 204 and here we will get 65. That means this part is greater. This one is greater. So that is how we can solve such questions. So here we have used the concept of converting the mixed fraction into improper fraction. Then we use the concept of adding and subtracting the fractions. Then we use the concept of how to compare the fractions. So all the concepts are there in one question.